So he said you also need a sharp knife. What kind of knife you got? What's that? Grafting knife. Oh, grafting knife. So there's a... Yeah, I have one here. I... It has two blades. The one is like this. Cool. And one is curved, I see. Yeah. The body knife for the buds. Oh, okay. So the curved knife is for the buds. So which tree are we doing? This here is a tangerine, you said? I believe it's the one to the right. We can hear okay. this one. What is this one doing? This one. Just, just for uh, let's make it as an example for your video. Cut it like this. Nice little cut around. Looks about an eighth inch deep. No, probably not even an eighth inch deep. Then you scrape it like this. To remove the cambium. The sticky part here is, the, is called the cambium. But if, if you don't remove it, it will join again. Okay. The roots will not come out. Okay, if you don't remove it, it'll heal because back up, no root. The sap will continue going up. You should stop you should stop the sap uh, this the fluid that is inside the sap to go up to the leaves. And then you remove like this just a little All around like this, and then scrape one side, scrape another side, that's all. And then, shaving the aloe guy, and then that would be the root powder. Are we going to use the aloe? aloe like this. Like this. Good for your skin and the tree skin. Okay. Grabbing zip ties, a little bag. I think we're gonna put some dirt up against the tree and tie it on, something like that. Peat we'll see. Peat moss, I hear. So this is this is peat moss here. Yeah, put it in plastic like this. Okay. Ooh. 
some moisture and I squeeze the moisture out. And then at the, up to the edge here, you put it here like this. And make a dent here in the center for the branch. Get one piece like this. And uh, you squeeze it but not too much. Leave some water in it. Leave a little bit of moisture yeah. in it. So there we left that hole. He's gonna put, put the branch like in the hole. And then yeah. put the other one on top. Right on top. And then hold it like this. So we're trying to make it fairly tight. Before I used to use tie string, okay. but when uh, zip ties came, I used zip ties because it's easier to use. Much easier, yeah, zip tie. Huh? But if you have no zip tie, you can use string, old school style. Yeah. Good morning. So tie this one. Instead of putting the string like this, you just get the zip tie, you put it like this. Right through ties itself. All right, so we scraped it. Aloe, peat moss, ball. And how long does this take? Sometimes uh, 45 days to 60 days. 45 to 60 days. So that's like what a month and a half to two months. And then so what this does is it's supposed to make this piece grow roots, and then we'll cut it off down here below the root so we'll cut it here right oh and we're supposed to put aluminum foil over it okay you wrap this one with aluminum foil okay and then after so you wrap this one so that it will be dark inside or keep the sun out oh yeah to keep like the sun this, out like being in the dirt in the ground and to keep uh from being uh for for so the soil will not uh, dry easily. Okay, it won't dry out, keep moist. It won't dry out, yeah. Do we ever Perfect. water this? You don't water it. You no need wait. to water it, just wait. Perfect. Okay, so 45 cool. to 60 days, and that's your root. We'll cut it off down here okay. below where the root is. Just a little. And then, oh, just a little bit, yeah. just a little bit, yeah. But just below the root, just, just as long as, because we'll keep the root, we'll be able to plant it. Yep. Very cool, and then we're gonna do a few more plants and we'll show you all that also. All right, we are starting our first tree day. Oh, there it is. They came over here. It's gonna be over there. I think that's a tangerine, tangerine tree. And then I guess there's a couple calamansi limes. He said the avocado doesn't take too well to air layering, so he's gonna show us how to graft that later. And then we also have a star apple tree in the gulch. So that seems like three or four trees we might do. I will let you know, keep you posted, and we will record and edit and show and all that good stuff. So it says Ashley, he's about to go get some pruners. This is John, the man that's going to teach us. How you doing today, John? So can you tell us like what, what kind of stuff we need? Can you tell us what kind of stuff we need to do this? Like shears, uh, you got the aloe, you put a hole in the lid of the water, like like what do we need to do to to air layer? I need to... I need water, because once I scrape it, once I remove the bark from the, from the, from the branch, I wet it so that I can put the powder, rooting, rooting hormone, so rooting hormone. Oh, but I forgot. I don't have the rooting hormone, but I have this aloe vera. So instead of a rooting hormone, you can use yeah, aloe vera. You just in it. You just, you just wipe the, the, the place where you cut it, where, where you remove the bark, and then you can wrap it. Right on. It yeah. seems more natural than the powder, yeah? Yeah, natural. But it's worth it. 
Works just the same. Cool. So, um, cool. Pruning around the spot. I think we're looking too much into the sun. We'll try to come on this side. You know how to, to make this uh, grow, grow more beautiful? No. More leaf. How's that? Remove all the other branches that are unnecessary. Remove all the dead stuff, yeah? Move the unnecessary small stuff and it provides the nutrients to what's left. This is dead. This is dead? This one? Yeah. It's dead. I'm not even going to have to add music now. I have to move this up a little. Can I make it higher? Yes, sir. You can put you up 18 feet if you like. Ooh, 18 <laughs> feet is the max. It's a pretty nice sturdy ladder, too. What kind of ladder is this? Is this a gr gorilla ladder? It's a... Uh, type of yeah it might be like a it's like it says brand, Costco or something I don't know she is really great <laughs> good and they're like swimwear <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said, pliers? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. thinking. Um, you seen for pliers last? Do you have a pliers? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. There's one, uh, one way to, because this skin of this is too hard. It's just, it's, it's just, uh, Kind of see the sun is a little crazy, but yeah, I'm too old for this. What'd you say? You too old for this? Huh? What'd you say? I'm too old. 
told you doing this. <laughs> How old are you? 42. Oh, very young. Oh, I like to hear that. <laughs> you only have my age. Half your age, huh? You 84? Huh? Are you 84? 80, 81. In 81, okay. In three months. Nice. Because if you have the, if you have a fire, put it here and then it will scrape this one. Oh, okay. You will, you won't be wasting time scraping like this. I see. Pliers make it faster. <laughs> you're only as old as you feel right here. You're only old when you feel like you're old. Right. So cut away the dead stuff. Helps the live stuff get more nutrients. <laughs> I got a wrench. <laughs> oh. <laughs> work. I see, oh, so. It'll work, but similar, so you just put it in scrape. That's too smooth though, yeah? Pliers oh. have the ridges in it. You know yeah, what? I don't have the pliers. They're in the my Jeep. I need the pliers to put it here and then do it like this so I can scrape this one. Scrape it up a little bit. Uh Oh, I... Oops. <laughs> he got he got pliers. He's got them. Go like that. Rough it up some. Yeah, Ash brought a called monkey wrench or whatever. It's smooth. Won't do the same thing. It needs to have See? teeth. Nice. Alright. Cool. You think he pliers? Okay. Do you think like this? It will straight the cambium. Yep. And then you can... Give it the aloe love. Yeah, aloe vera. The ash is doing the peat moss. Don't forget to squeeze the juice and make a dent in it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting our learn on. Well, I hope we don't get copyrighted for the music. I didn't play it, it's in the background. <laughs> so, I just put on the squeeze, okay, put the dent, passing on. Getting bodied and carried away. There are so many flies on my leg, it's insane. But not everybody lives. So you don't have no foil at home? All right, so after this, we'll just go down to the store. It's a couple miles down the street. We'll buy some foil and we'll just foil them all at the same time after we're done here. 
So that's the one part of the process we're leaving out so far, but we will finish, top it off with it, polish it up. <laughs> and so this one is the tangerine that he's doing right now? Yes. So this is the tangerine tree. What was this one here? Honestly, I think this might be an African tulip, but don't quote me. But yeah, just a test run on the African tulip, I believe. find out. <laughs> All right, number two. Would this okay if I put some videos here and there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now we're getting down to the star apple tree. I think he did, uh, I think, five air layers on the, uh, what was that, a tangerine, I think it was. So I want to do about probably... Five to ten on the star apple. Everyone loves the star apple, so I want to get a whole bunch of these going. But again, we'll show you the progress in a minute. How do you call this tree? Star apple. Star apple. <laughs> Así lo llaman ellos porque todavía no, no saben qué nombre poner. Oh, en Filipinos tiene otro nombre. Mr. John, how do you call this tree in Filipinos? This fruit. Caimito. Caimito? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. What a coincidence. In the Spanish, the same. Yeah. So <laughs> in, en Filipinos, de ellos también lo llaman caimito. En nosotros en Perú, en la selva, lo llamamos caimito. Y el nuestro es amarillo y de ellos está, empieza verde, pero ya cuando se madura se hacen moraditos. ¿Sí? <risa> Hi, Jordan. Aloha. <risa> Él es el promotor de esta chacra acá en Oahu, en Cunía. Y él es el que está... What did you say this kind of tree was? Yeah. Chisa. Chisa. They call it Chisa in the Philippines. I don't know what we call it here. But it's got these, see the yellow fruits up there? They're going to turn orange. Oh, see the green? There's some green ones right here. Yeah. Dig it up. So we, what was that one over there? We did the tangerine. Then we did two on a star apple. We did two on a avocado tree. And now the chisa here. We were going to do a jackfruit tree, but it had a bunch of seedlings under it, so we just picked out the seedlings and we're going to plant those and put them in the shade for a while, see if they take. Give it that loving aloe, help the roots come back, or not come back, come out. It's a fairly quick process. It only takes them five to five or so minutes to do each tree or each each spot. More spots per tree, the longer per tree. So you know. I think you should try to. You should try to add layer two. So you know how you can do anything that you want to do with it, even any, with any kind of tree that you want to ha have. Uh, have more, more fish, right? You can add layer it. You can use soil, but uh, the problem with it is when you put it. This soil keeps falling down. 
Oh. So the soil will fall out, the peat moss stays a little better? I, I use the peat moss because they stick together. So if you're wondering why the peat moss, it just sticks sticks in there better. Soil's I looser, don't want it'll fall out. Acquire. Because uh, it is too acidic sometimes. It takes a long, long time to have the roots come out. Nice. So along with the air laying, we got that's 37 jackfruit seedlings. But then there's I don't know how many in that bag. It's probably another 50 or so. We probably got like a hundred all together. So we're gonna set out all the seedlings, grow them up a little bit, and plant them out. Yay!